Alright guys and welcome back to Fallout 4. This is the second part of my mod review for the Modern Firearms mod. Uh, and we're going to try and kill the remaining uh, gunners at the Quincy Ruins. First weapon up is the G36C. What can I say about this rifle apart from its uh, model is incredibly good, the way that the mod author has designed it. It's really authentic. Uh, of course it does have a unique firing sound. Uh, when compared to the base uh, vanilla Fallout 4. However, the reload animations don't really sync up. As uh, always, you do reload through the side of the gun and you're not pulling the actual uh, loading lever thing. Uh, it's incredibly damaging. Uh, and uh, The level of accuracy is incredibly high, so there's little recoil and uh, a lot of accuracy. We saw there with the ACR that I had to go in the, the Nerd Rage mode due to the fact that these gunners are such high level. They are equipped with uh, high damaging uh, weapons from the Modern Firearms mod and so I did need that extra boost of health and damage to eliminate them. But we're now on to the M4A1 and this is probably one of the best weapons from the mod. It's got a good high competitive fire rate, low recoil and high damage. So in close quarters it's incredibly good against uh, enemies and even in uh, at long or even at longer ranges it's also incredibly powerful. Uh, I'm just going to let this uh, section of the gameplay play in the background due to the fact it was a complete and utter gaggle fuck. Like seriously they just came out of nowhere. Uh, one thing I do have to say is even if you do get swarmed with uh, the Modern Firearms mod enabled, you will find that your health will be dropping incredibly quick due to the high damaging weapons that the NPCs are equipped with. If you come against the guy with a light machine gun, you're most likely going to die. Like, they're really, really powerful. One thing I do have to say about this rifle here, it is the M416. It's got a good amount of uh, damage. Uh, minimalistic recoil and it's incredibly enjoyable to use. Uh, it also has a unique firing sound and it's a very authentic looking weapon when you compare it to the real life version. I have to admit, trying to take on these fucking spunk trumpets was incredibly hard. It took me numerous attempts and whenever I eventually took them out I have to admit I was quite happy. Absolute gaggle fuck most of the time, they're just surrounding me. A bunch of, you know, uh, gunners with high damage and weapons can take you out quite easily, so you do have to be careful. That is one thing I do admit. Uh, downloading the Modern Firearms mod, it does slow down the combat in Fallout 4 due to the fact that you're constantly ducking behind cover to regenerate health or to hide from a more powerful and resilient enemy. We're back to this sniper to try and take out this fucking cock womble. This weapon provides a hell of a lot of damage and is incredibly enjoyable to use. However, it is not available in the modern firearms mod. If you want to acquire this weapon, you must download the modular Simonov PTRS-41 mod available for Fallout 4. Most of the weapons in the modern firearms mod all do have their unique firing sounds. So when compared to the standard Fallout 4, uh, it's unique looking weapons, unique sounding weapons, and weapons that are much more damaging and much more effective against your targets. However, your targets do get to use these weapons, so that is the one drawback from using the mod. Here we have the F2000, and it's a very underrated gun in my opinion. It's uh, first appeared in Modern Warfare 2 and it was a piece of dog shit. But in this mod it's incredibly good, it's incredibly versatile, but unfortunately the reload animations just aren't correct. But guys this is the end of part 2, thank you so much for watching, I hope you did enjoy, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.